What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're going to be drawing Shaquille O'Neal from the Los Angeles Lakers. Now let's get started at the top of our page with the eyes. So we start over on the side and draw in a circle, starting from the very top. And we'll work our way down towards the bottom of the eye. And then back up towards the top. Now let's leave a gap in the center and draw the same thing over on the right. So we're going to line up the top of that circle. I want to bring that down towards the same height that we have on the left. And then back up towards the top. Now we're going to add a small highlight circle on the top left of each eye. So up against the edge of the eye, we're going to draw a circle coming in and going back out. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. And we'll fill the outside of the eyes in black. Now we're going to move out and draw the eyelids going around the side of the eyes. So we start at the very top of the left eye and go out and then just hook that in. Do the same thing on the right. Going out from the top and then hooking that in. And then we'll move to the center and draw on the nose. We want to line up the bottom edge of the eyes, move to the center. And we start on the left side. We're going to curve down in the middle and then up on the right. Now let's move up and draw a short curve in the opposite direction for the bridge of the nose. Let's move down and draw on the top of the mouth, starting on the left side, and curve down in the middle, and then up on the right. Let's go back to the left, we're going to come down, round out the bottom of the mouth, and then pull that up on the right side. Let's separate out the teeth. Starting back on the left, we're going to curve down in the middle, and then up on the right. Now on the ends, we're going to step in and draw a short line coming down and we'll fill those corners in black. And then from the bottom of the mouth, we're going to step down again and draw the lower lip. Stepping over towards the left, curve down the middle, and then up on the right. Now we're going to move out and draw the lower half of the head. From the left eye, we're going to move out. Starting out here, we're going to curve down. Almost like drawing a large half circle. Come underneath the mouth, and go out and up on the right. Let's draw on the beard. Starting from the top of the nose on the left, we're going to step down and curve around the mouth, down, and then hook that in towards the chin. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Going out, around the mouth, down, and then in. And then from the corner of the mouth, we're going to follow that same curve. Going around, down, and then in. Let's fill the beard in black. Let's move up above the eyes and add the eyebrow. Starting on the left side, start by coming in and curving that up on the inside. Line this up on the right and do the same. Coming down and then out. Let's go back to the inside and draw two short lines going up. And then we'll thicken up the eyebrow. Starting from the top, curve out and then down toward the outside of the eyebrow. Let's fill the eyebrows in black. Now we're going to draw on the top of the head. Starting back on the left, we're going to bump up the side of the head, round it out and come in towards the middle. We're going to round up the top of the head, come over towards the right, go down, and then pull that in. And then we're going to add in the ears. Starting from the top of the cheek, we're going to step up, curve up, round up the ear, and then pull that in towards the side of the head. Just line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now we're gonna add the fold in the ear. Starting at the top of the cheek, and curve up and out. Do the same thing on the right. Now let's go back to the inside. We're gonna draw a curve going out and then hooking that back in. Let's move down and draw on the sides of the body. We're gonna start on the left side underneath the head, curve out, and then down towards the hip. 
move over towards the right and do the same thing. Now I'm gonna close off the bottom, starting back on the left, curve down the middle, and then back up on the right. I'm gonna go back up and draw in the collar, starting in the middle, just underneath the chin, start with a point. From here we're gonna angle up and out towards the left, and then the right, and we're gonna trace that out on the inside. Now we're gonna add the number 34 in the center of the body, starting on the left side with the three. Starting out here, we're gonna curve around, in towards the middle, and back out. And I'm gonna take that and flip it over along the bottom. Starting in here, curve around towards the bottom, and then back up. And then from the ends, we're gonna angle down and in. And we'll just trace this out on the inside. Going around, and out. And at the end here, we're just gonna flatten this off just trace around the bottom. And then we'll move over and add the number four. Right in the middle, start with a straight line coming down, go up to the top, angle up and out toward the top of the four, flatten this off, and then come down the side. And come down to the bottom, a straight line coming in, all the way down, we're just gonna line this up with a three, straight out, and go back up. Let's close off the end of the four. Going out with a short line along the top and bottom. And close it off at the end. And then we'll trace out the inside of the four. Starting at the top, angle down and out. Go across the bottom, and then up towards the top. Let's move to the center and down and add a curve for the lower torso. We're gonna go up in the middle, and down on the right. Now leaving a gap in the center, we're gonna go to the left side, curve out, down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, and do the same thing, going out towards the same height. Let's round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the heel, and come down, and then bend this up towards the toe, and do the same thing on the right. Now I'm going to go back to the left side and draw the top of the foot. Starting from the toe, we draw almost like a half circle, going up. I'm just going to bend this down, aiming towards the heel, we'll stop right about there. And we're gonna bend that back up towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. From the toe, we'll go up, and then bend that down towards the heel, and curl that back up towards the inside. And now I'm gonna move back up to the hip and draw on the side of the shorts. Starting from the left hip, I'm gonna draw a curve that goes out and down, aiming towards the tip of the foot. We'll stop right about there, and do the same thing on the right side. And then we'll curve the bottom of the shorts, starting on the left, and down, and then up, and do the same thing on the right side. And then from the outside of the shorts, we're gonna step in, we're gonna angle down and out on top of the foot, on both sides. Let's add some detail to the shoes. We're gonna start by thickening up the sole. We're gonna take this curve, step up from the toe, and just trace that across. And then we'll add a toe cap. Starting on the outside, we're gonna curve in and then down towards the sole. I'm also gonna add some laces across the top of the foot. So halfway across the toe cap, curve up and then in towards the top of the foot. Do the same thing on the right. Now I'm gonna add two curves along the laces. I'm gonna step up, just curve across once, step up and draw that twice. Let's do the same thing on the right. And then from the top of the foot, we're gonna step up, add another curve, and down and up the edge of the socks, line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Let's go back up and add some stripes to the shorts. We're gonna start with this bottom edge, step up and just trace that across from left to right. Now going back up to the top of the hip, we're gonna step in and just trace that leg going all the way down towards that bottom trim, do the same thing on the right, and we'll go back up to the top and add a thin stripe on the inside edge. Now we move back up and draw on the arms. Let's start with the arm on the left. We start halfway down the side of the body. We're gonna curve out and down towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, we'll add a small half circle for the thumb. At the end of the thumb, we'll draw a bracket. 
Let's add three fingers, starting at the bottom of the thumb, curve down and then up around that bracket, step down, curve down and up the second finger. And now the third finger, we're just going to pull this up and in towards the shoulder to right about there. Now we're going to round out the shoulder, starting from the top of the arm, we're going to go up and bend that in behind the head. Now we're going to move over and draw the right arm holding the basketball. From the top of the body, we're going to step out underneath the head. We're going to go out and then bend that down towards the elbow. And then from here, we're going to go out and up towards the wrist. Let's curl around the thumb. From the wrist, we're going to go up then bend the thumb going out. Round up the thumb and then pull that back in. Now we're going to hook around the palm, coming down and then pulling that in. And we'll layer a circle in behind the thumb, starting at the very top. So we can go all the way around towards the top of the circle, down, and then in behind the thumb. Now from the bottom curve of the ball, I'm going to curve down and in the palm. I'm going to step back, curve down, round up the elbow. I'm just going to pull that up in behind the body. Let's add the bottom edge of the bicep. Starting from the side of the body, we're going to curve down, then out. Now I'm going to move back up and add the lines in the basketball. Starting with the center line, from top to bottom. Go out towards the left. Draw a straight line going out towards the right. And then we'll add those two curved lines on the outside. Starting from the left, curve in, round it out, and then go back in. Line this up on the right. Do the same thing going out and that's pretty much it there's shaquille o'neal from the los angeles lakers i hope you enjoyed today's lesson make sure you subscribe and send me your request in the comments below thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon